Nivasa may have stepped aside as the BCCI president for the time being. The suspense is growing over whether he'll attend the ICC annual conference in London on the, the 25th of June, despite being embroiled in the controversy. Srinivasan, it seems, is keen to attend the ICC meeting in London. In fact, BCS sources have revealed that Srinivasan even called up in turn President Jagmohan Dalmia, asking him, rather informing him, that he wished to attend the meeting. As of now, Jagmohan Dalmia is the man who is slated to represent India as he is the one who is looking after the day-to-day -day affairs that he can nominate someone else. As things stand, now most associations are with Srinivasan completely ignoring the latest scandal. Only the Shadwar camp is against Srinivasan representing India at the ICC. The Arun Jaitley Raju Shukla faction, on the other hand, is waiting and watching the proceedings. But they don't want to be embarrassed by Srinivasan attending the meet. Arun Jaitley or Jagmohan Dalmia could emerge as the consensus candidate given the situation. But some sections within the BCC have raised questions about Srinivasan attending the meeting since he's under scanner. With Srinivasan away from day-to-day -day matters, the members do not want him to attend the meeting and represent India. But in a new twist now, Arun Jaitley has emerged as a candidate to represent India at that meeting. So Jaitley is emerging as a candidate because of his clean image and his acceptability to all associations. Also, he's a respected lawyer who can argue India's stand on legal grounds as well. So far, BCCI members failed to reach a consensus on whether Srinivasan or Dalmia should actually represent India. However, if Jaitley agrees, then he is likely to get the nod from most of the members. Final decision will be taken by Dalmia, though. Some members also feel that Dalmia could also represent India. After all, he's a former IUCC and BCCI president and is aware of how the system works. Also, since he's heading the board currently, he should be the one to represent country. There are strong reasons to stop Srinivasan's bid to attend the ICC meet. First of all, it will reflect poorly on India's image as his son-in-law is embroiled in the case of betting. Also, he's presently stepped aside as the BCCI president. And Gaurav Gala, sports editor, joins us tomorrow on the story. And Gaurav, where do things stand? Because it seems that uh, it's basically a three-way tie at the moment. Srinivasan wants to attend. Obviously, he has his loyal associations who will back him. There's Jagmohan Dalmia and there's Arun Jaitley now. That's right. Of course, uh, very, very interesting at this point in time, Siddharth. Uh, uh, what we've learned through our sources within the BCCI at this point in time is that there's going to be an informal meet tomorrow. Some sort of a decision is going to be taken tomorrow. Now, like you've rightly said, Srinivasan, of course, angling for a move to attend this ICC meeting. And a lot of members within the BCCI feel that that is the right thing. Because what we need to remember, Siddharth, is one of the main talking points in that ICC meet is going to be DRS. And that is a hot topic of discussion. And, and Sh Srinivasan is the man who has represented India in the last few meetings and he's been a staunch opposer of the DRS system and, and the BCCI also feels that if they want to uh, you know, propagate their point of view to the rest of the cricketing world, then Srinivasan is the man to do that at this point in time and I think that is one of the main things why a lot of the BCCI members might in the end agree to let Srinivasan go and attend. A fair point that Gaurav has raised and I'll bring in GS Vivek, Associate Editor of India today. And GS, it uh, seems uh, that uh, the team obviously is at odds with India's and now given that Dinesh Karthik spoke out fairly openly, obviously he had to take the permission of the media manager before he answered that question. But uh, what does it look like? Will it be N. Srinivasan who finally attend that meeting? I think yeah, it will be N. Srinivasan for a lot of reasons. For the main reason is the fact that he is completely aware about how many boards have had contradicting views about the, about the entire DRS technology and he's been the one one man being very very vocal and against the system of the DRS. Uh, the point is that DCCI at the working committee have declined to accept DRS as, uh, as a foolproof technology. So that's the stance which India has to take. It doesn't matter that it's Srinivasan, Jaitley or Jagmohan Dalmia. doesn't look like Jagmohan Dalmia at all. It has to be N. Srinivasan for the simple fact that he still remains the president. Jagmohan Dalmia remains the working president. And for the fact that he has been a sustained one-man pose against the DRS policy which BCCI Fortunate and fortunately for me, I think it's unfortunate that it's still backing against the DRS. So it has to be Enjani Vasan which has to go to the ICC annual conference if BCC is really um, serious about not backing DRS and stopping it. I'll go across to Gaurav because uh, GS makes a very, very fair point uh, that uh, the BCC unfortunately is against the DRS system. But that stems from the lack of uh, trust or the distrust, uh, the seeds of which were sown during that India-Sri Lanka series where it was first tried. Since then, India seemed to have adapted very, very well. And they've used the DRS very, very convincingly in the Champions Trophy, Gaurav. So, will that prompt a change of stance? 
well um, you know at this point in time hectic falling is on within the board as you know siddharth and uh, i would not be surprised if uh, the team management uh, in uh, england at this point in time has been consulted if the, uh, the captain has been taken into confidence as well i'm sure uh, uh, the bcci would not like to press ahead with uh, any move on the drs uh, and change or not change their stand without consulting uh, some of the senior players in the indian setup primary among them being the captain mahendra singh dhoni and i think the feedback that the bcci is going to receive from team at least given by uh, what we heard from dinesh karthik is that they are now uh, in a position where they feel very comfortable with the drs and would like to use it that in just one final question gs is taint a non issue for the bcc doesn't not matter to actually accept what is the in thing the moral responsibility and say no ensure was in must attend because he is in fact a tainted man at the moment Yes, it's a, it's a very tricky call for for the BCCI. Uh, on one hand, they have to decide whether they are going with the moral stance, which clearly BCCI doesn't look like believing in it. And on the other side is the fact that, which is more prestigious issue for the BCCI at this point of time. It's about the entire issue of DRS. So it's a, it's a call which they have to take between um, guy, making a guy attend a particular meet, which is uh, which they believe is not the right candidate at this point of time, given the fact that they themselves have asked them to step aside at this point of time. But the bigger issue could also be the fact that it's a BCCI's image at stake. It's a prestige and the ego because DRS now has become a merely an ego issue for BCCI. But they just refuse to believe that the technology has improved. it is it has improved from the past and also the fact that india and india team india uh, specifically has been on the good side of the drs for a lot of times so uh, it's got to a point where it's become an ego issue so the bcci has to decide whether their mo- moral responsibility is bigger or their ego is bigger and i think between morality and ego i think the ego would win all right that's the unfortunate case isn't it but i'll go across to gorav again and gorav you know we're talking about state associations but uh, if you take a look at the members of the icc as well and there's a problem there as well they'd love for shrinivasan not to attend he's rubbed too many of them the wrong way that's right i mean you know as far as the icc is concerned whether it's ancient shrinivasan or whether it was shank manohar uh, uh, before him uh, uh, you know there has been uh, uh, this deep sense within the a uh, powers that be of the international cricket council that the bcci does like to bulldoze its way through as far as things are and and they they want to get things in their favor that has been uh, uh, you know something that we that we've all known about but at this point in time uh, uh, it, it's up to the bcci to decide who they are going to send for this all crucial meet as things stand at this point in time indications are that enchuri vasan will be on that plane even if he is not officially part of this main meeting there are lots of subcommittees uh, uh, siddharth uh, uh, that that have also been formed within the icc which are also going to meet so in one form or the other enchuri vasan is actually going to be there uh, on the sidelines if he's not a main member if arun jetli goes or if dalmia goes uh, enchuri vasan will still be there because there are subcommittees that he's a member of at this point in time and they are also going to meet to discuss different issues All right, we've got Gulu Ezekiel, a senior sports journalist, joining us now on the show on the phone line. And Gulu, it seems, as GS Vivek very, very rightly put it, it's a question of morality, and it's a question of ego. The morality, because Enshinwasa is clearly a tainted man, and there's the ego over the use of DRS, which India, which at least the men in blue are doing very, very well in the ongoing Champions Trophy. But because the BCCI, in the BCCI, the ego is bigger than morality. Enshrivasan will probably be picked to actually represent India at that uh, meeting. Yeah, I think uh, it's a very strange situation which the BCC has found itself in uh, because uh, this is unprecedented that the board president has stepped down and uh, there is a stand-in president now in the form of Mr. Dalia. And uh, my concern is that uh, when India is represented at the ICC by a president who has stepped aside, uh, at least temporarily. uh what will be his uh, image uh, and what will be his uh, position at the icc meeting uh, i am certain that he, his position will be weakened and i suspect that some of the other uh, uh, board associations so particularly the english association uh, may will take advantage of the situation to cut india down to size and perhaps create some kind of ambush on the bcci particularly on the drs 
All right, interesting point that you're making. We're also joined by senior sports journalist Pradeep Magazine on the phone line. And Mr. Magazine, strange situation that the BCCI finds itself in. But it does seem that N. Srinivasan once again will be the man to represent India at that ICC meeting. And that's not going to be good news for all the boats who are trying to push through DRS. Well, I think uh, whatever the boats stand on DRS is, could, have, could have been articulated through someone else as well. I think what it shows is that Srinivasan is still in control of the board. It's the stepping aside business is just to hoodwink people, just to show people because they were under pressure. The board was under pressure and uh, they made Dalmia in, uh, some kind of an interim arrangement. But Srinivasan obviously dictates terms in the board. It just goes to show that.